Hey guys, what's up? JRPG Bro here. We're jumping back in more into more Ghost of Tsushima. We've all been worried about Hochi. They need a break. Such moments are rare these days. I used to be like them. I'm not the same man I was the night before Komoda. How bad was it? Komoda? Bad. We lost everyone. The beach was soaked with so much blood, it was like... paste. Be grateful you didn't see it. We rode south all day, into the night. A bad storm slowed us to a crawl. Stopped at a farm to sleep a few hours. I woke to screams. The main house on fire. Mongol raiders. They took us to Kaneda in chains. After that... I wish I had died fighting. I think I know where they took Hochi. You want to go now? Yes. Where are we headed? A camp on the coast. Mongol ships stopped there for supplies and prisoners on the way north. If they put him out to sea, we'll lose him. Lord Sakai, when this is all over, what will you do? I hope one day I can return home, find a way to rebuild. I wish I still felt that way about my temple. Most of my life, my course was clear. Follow the Eightfold Path, raise a family, serve Cedar Temple. You can still do those things. I joined the temple because of my brother. And I always imagined my children and Enjo's children growing up together. Our wives would be friends. So today, guys, we're going to jump yeah. into Norio's storyline. One day they'll be gone. And you'll still have a life to lead. But I don't feel it's mine alone. I have to live for Enjo and the other monks who die. Do you ever feel that way about the samurai of Komoda? Like you owe them a debt. Sometimes. Like my life has to count for a hundred samurai. But that doesn't feel possible. Maybe that's the point. Life before the invasion feels like it happened to someone else. Or like childhood. Maybe 20 years from now, you'll look back on this moment the same way. Lord Sakai, I told you Hochi strongly opposes violence, right? You said he disagreed with the warrior monks. He hates all weapons, including yours and mine. He can lecture me all he likes once he's safe in Akashima village. Now, Norio is actually one of my favorite side characters in the game. I don't know why, just something about him. I just think he's... I don't want to say he's the most well-written. I just think he's pretty badass. I mean, he's a monk. He's a freaking warrior monk. He runs around with a Naginta. I mean, come on. You see that weapon? That thing's got to be hard to... Who will fight? He's got, it's got to be a hard weapon to use. I mean, look at Sung Mina from Soul Calibur. I mean, she's hard to play as. But, you know, she still wields that freaking thing like no tomorrow. I love how uh, Norio and Jin are still having this conversation when uh, we're doing the standoff. I'm killing people. It's like... Hey, let's take a look around the village. Uh, how about not? Uh, I'm busy killing people, uh, Norio. I can't do that at this moment in time. I'm kind of handicapped right now doing that. We have to find Hochi. The Mongols are holding someone there. Hochi has to be. If I go alone, I can reach him without the Mongols knowing. A 
Mongol signal cannon. I could set it off. Draw their attention. While I get Hochi out. After I find Hochi, we'll meet there. Don't wait for me if I'm late. Get Hochi back to the village. I can handle myself. I'll meet you both back in Akashima village. Set off the signal cannon. I'll get Hochi. Take refuge in Amida Buddha, my lord. All right, so what we got to do here is we got free Hochi, which is one of the monks with uh, Norio here. Obviously, I think Norio is going to set off the alarm first before we go in there. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, <laughs> I kind of forgot what we were talking about in the plan wise, uh, thinking about what we're going to do here. So what I think we're going to start off here, we're going to start off by doing a little stealth here, a little stealthy stealth. Well, stabby, stab, stab, stab. You know, like for the spy in Team Fortress 2 here. We're going to kind of backstab people here. I see Hochi there. Maybe we have to free Hochi first. I, I, I'm not 100% no, because I see some Mongols here. All right, that's fine. So we're going to walk up to this dude bro here on the corner and just, yep. You can make that sound all day long. We got some more people here. I don't think we can chain assassinate any here because they're not close enough. The question is, did that guy see me? I kind of hope he didn't, but I kind of feel like he did. I should send the Mongols running. And now they kind of are in this like weird, like in between phase right now where the Mongols see us. The Mongols are going to go after us. But they also had the alarm go off. What's happening? Who are you? A friend. We need to go. I can't leave. The Mongols are returning me to see the temple. The people there need healers badly. There's no time for this. I'm sorry. I must remain here. Jin! Hochi! Norio? What are you doing here? The alarm drew a raiding party nearby. They're almost on us. Uh, damn it. Stay back, Hochi. We won't let them near you. Norio, ready your blade. And as per usual in most video games, uh, it looks like our plan backfired. Not really surprised by that, to say the least. I really expected it to happen, but hey, there's not much we can do about it. So right now we kind of have to take out the Mongols, but we have to make sure we protect Hochi from them. So we don't want Hochi dying, as you can see. That Mongol bro is going after him. So we're going to just... Yeah, we're going to save him as he... Oh, sh he's not dead yet. All right. That's fine. We fix it. We can fix things like that. It's a fixable thing here, so... We accidentally triggered ghost mode, which is fine. So we'll start taking out as many of these guys in one fell swoop. This is an ability that we don't have access to in the regular playthrough at this point in time. We're going to get it soon. Don't worry about that. It's just an ability I tend to use. I accidentally use. I never actually really meant to truly use that uh, move. I, I, I get the buttons confused every once in a while. Everyone is gone. It's just me now. I'm sorry. I wish we could end this bloodshed. The Mongols were searching for me. I gave myself up to save lives. How did they know where to find you? They knew I was an Akashima. And they wanted to return me to see the temple. They need a healer. You are willing to treat the enemy's wounded? Mongol or Japanese, we all suffer. Some deserve it. But this means... Has Cedar Temple fallen? I don't know. Norio, take Hoji back to the village before reinforcements arrive. They will seek revenge. I'll meet you there to plan a defense. And there we go, that's another one of Norio's story missions that we just kind of took care of there. And like I said, I really do... I, I, I prefer... I, I don't want to say prefer, but Norio is one of my favorite characters in this game, a side character. I, I don't know why, I just can't really say why. It just... I don't know. Uh, 
so you see here we saw we have seven we're at seven and we're almost done with Masako's storyline uh, she has a couple side quests here you see scattered throughout the map here obviously you can do them in any particular order for hers most of these characters we really have a specific uh, set uh, that we can do them in I just want to see here so we did the first story for Norio and I think we did the second one as well I'm just double checking to make sure which ones we did and which ones we didn't do. Uh, so we're going to fast travel here. Fast traveling will kind of cut back on some time here between story missions here uh, for us to really focus on them. I think we're going to do the next uh, story mission for an Oreo here, which would be our third one for him. I'm not 100% sure which number one. I, 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 his is interesting because he just we just got his quests in this section of the map. So logically it would be that it would be split between the two so four and one five and another or something along those lines i can't say with 100 percent certainty how it's set up because i honestly don't know and norio's storyline is very I, I feel like his is the most linear out of all of the characters uh, out of all of the characters with their own side quests uh line his is literally, it does feel the most linear, as you can tell. I don't think we've been able to do the next story mission without doing the previous one, so we couldn't kind of switch back and forth here. Uh, it's just how it is. So we're actually going to go find Norio as well as Hochi, because they're going to be together. I can hear them already arguing. It's right to prevent more suffering. If you kill you these rings, your others will retaliate. Stay. Your armor fitting, my lord. You honor me with your confidence. My lord, the Mongols have taken the bridge leading into Hyoshi Springs. Many people travel that bridge. They'll be vulnerable to attack. I'll go there, see what I can do. Thank you, my lord. I feel like I messed up when I'm trying to find these guys. I usually get lost in areas like this. It's just how I roll. Uh... I don't know why, and they were right in front of me the whole time. I, I feel pretty stupid right now. Lord Sakai. What's the problem? Mongols are gathering nearby, preparing to strike. We should evacuate to Castle Canada. Evacuate, and the Mongols will hunt you down. Not one of you will live to see Canada's walls. But we won't have blood on our hands. Go tell the village your plan for them, Hochi. I'd like to see that. <sighs> Norio. I wish you cared about the Eightfold Path more than others' opinions. First you follow Enjo around, now Lord Sakai. Do you ever think for yourself? Wash my brother's name from your mouth. Enough! Norio and I will do the fighting. Everyone else can go hide. I refuse to hide. I don't take lives. But I am not a coward. I'll scout the village. See what defensive preparations we can make quickly. Gather everyone to you. Ready them to take shelter. One of these rooftops should work. Everyone, we need you to gather here. Bring your families quickly. So right now we got to get prepared for what essentially is going to be a Mongol onslaught. Yeah, uh, we're going to have to scan here like we always do here and kind of look at certain areas. People will get lost, separated. Easy prey. Make sure everyone is here. Family, friends, neighbors. A temple. People could hide there. Gather around. Don't wander off. No walls. Mongols can strike from any direction. Incense burners. 
Add black powder to the incense. Get the smoke nice and dense. Enough to use as cover. Norio and Hochi lead everyone to the temple. I'll deal with the Mongols here. They'll blame me, not the villagers. My lord, we've gathered everyone. Take them to the temple. I won't let you fight alone. If the Mongols go to the temple, who will protect these people? I'll do as you ask. Keep your Naginata ready. I'll owe you a jar of sake for putting up with Hochi. Everyone! Mongols are on the way. Follow me to the temple. The invaders will face the wrath of a samurai. Please, everyone! Do as Norio says! We'll take shelter at the temple! Quickly! Everyone get to the temple! Keep moving! So right now we gotta get ready and prepare for this attack here. So we're gonna drop some... I, I don't know, we're dropping something in these pots here. So, incense burners. All right, so what's gonna happen here is we're gonna drop six of these in here. When the Mongols come in, the attack is gonna kind of like trigger. We're gonna use that to kind of create like a fog, a smoke. Obviously it's called Ghosts in the Fog is the name of the story mission here. So by having the, the, the fog set up, we're going to be able to kind of hide stealth and just brutally murder these Mongols. I know that sounds terrible to say it like that, brutally murder. But we're going to be, you know, wiping out these Mongols through this so-called, uh, you know, the fog that we're going to create here. So once we get all six, we're going to get ready for the Mongol attack. Now, obviously, this feels like a, a moderate, like, medium-length kind of mission here. I can't really say for certain... Point that it is uh, a long one i feel like all we have to do is just stave off this attack and then that's that's the end of it uh we're gonna be done with it so we're gonna go hide here in the granary and wait for them to attack uh gotta get up there first i'm gonna be a total idiot because i can't fit oh there's a ladder um it's not really a ladder either but we're gonna wait they're here now to light the incense burners. Whoopsies. <laughs> we kind of just accidentally just uh, chain assassinated three dudes there, and then we set off the incense. Um, I don't know if that was smart or not, but it looked cool, right? It was one of those things where it's like, wow, I feel really stupid because I accidentally did that really quickly in quick succession. Uh, being able to do things like that in a game, it really makes you feel really badass and like really powerful. Uh, I'm not saying, hey... All games should do that, and I think we messed that up. I wanted to, like, stealth kill him, but at the same point in time, I really, really just kind of butchered that one here. And we're setting off the incense burners as we're attacking. We're supposed to be setting them off before. So I'm definitely feeling like I'm messing up a little bit here, but we're still getting through the uh, point of the story mission here. We're still taking care of it, so I'm not really as concerned. There we go, that's right. Except that didn't work, because... <laughs> I thought that I, 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 there was no one there. These guys were a little too far away, but we were still able to chain assassinate them, which is fantastic here. I'm curious how many more there are. Because I really don't know. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how we can lose them because stealth doesn't always work the best in video games. Like sometimes stealth works great, and then other times it works like crap. Uh, I feel like this is one of those instances in this particular mission where stealth isn't really going to work out phenomenally. And we actually triggered our ghost stance, uh, our ghost thing, our ghost power here. So once again, I'm really just kind of like all over the place right now with how we're playing this. I'm not really playing it 100% accurately. <laughs> But on the plus side, we wiped out the rest of the Mongols, so we just go check on Norio and Hochi.
Well, this isn't good. Looks like Norio's in some trouble right now. Let's help him out here. That guy in the gold armor is obviously, I guess we call him a captain. He's obviously someone high up in the Mongol, like, you know, rank and file here. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, that was a nice parry there. We got a nice parry here. Let's speak with, uh, Norio here real quick here. We should have taken care of everyone. He's walking away from me. I need to talk to you. What happened, Norio? I was fighting. A Mongol snuck up behind me. Ochi threw himself at a blow meant for me. You're both braver than many samurai I've known. I didn't know he was behind me until I heard him cry out. By the time I turned around, he was dead. It's not your fault. Norio? Every time they lifted the cover on the pit, the daylight would blind us. This time, one of them stank like sake. I felt their hands pull me up, but my brother threw himself at them. He was starving, wounded, but he fought them. He fought them so hard. Nuriel, you don't have to. Yes, I do. They gave up on me and took Enjo. They took my brother. Everyone who rode south from Cedar Temple. All gone. Except me. They deserve to live. I'm the one who should be dead. I thought the same thing after Komodo. Many times. I don't know why we survived, Norio. But we did. And these people are counting on us. We're all they have. The people of Akashima are alive because of you. Don't forget that. Because they won't. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you later with more Ghost of Tsushima.